G'day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Victoria 3 releasables video. Today, we are going to be playing as the nation of Bohemia. So, let's get right into it. Okay, starting out as Bohemia, uh, today we are going to try and form the nation of Czechoslovakia today. So, we are going to have to go right after Austria the entire time. So, I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait to bully all the little Arnold bodybuilders just hanging around here in Vienna or something. You know, like, I get the job. Aye. Okay, anyways, enough being an idiot. All right. So, yeah. So, as a Bohemia, we are an absolute principal or absolute duchy, uh, which is not that bad. We are mostly dominated by the landowners i would imagine and he is a moderate and we do have the industrialists in at the start so what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to go ahead put in the intelligentsia to start us off with now we do have interventionism and we can get per capita however we will lose more money so we're going to have to industrialize to actually profit off the per capita taxation now we are not really a fun place to live we got national supremacy and we also have freedom of conscience which is better than state religion but we do want to move over to total separation and we still have hereditary bureaucrats so here's what i'm thinking we're gonna go right on ahead and we are gonna go straight towards cultural exclusion so i'm gonna try and be as much of a liberal in today's video as much as possible so yeah we're gonna be i'm gonna be sitting here for a little while trying to you know get this dude out of power he's a traditionalist and everything and it's just oh it's terrible but taking a look at our resources uh okay we do have coal and iron thank god we can have up to a level 17 logging camp in bohemia and level 14 in moravia and we have a lot of room for coal and iron so bohemia is pretty nutty to play as all right so taking a look at everything we're gonna have to completely restart all of our production methods here i'm just gonna quickly do all this here do we have any tools okay so we do have tools which is great we already have coal and iron at the start which is fantastic but what are we missing okay we just don't have any sugar well that we can just use this and then for paper forest glass what we need to import. I think we'll just import paper to start us off with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a great relation with the Austrians and the Prussians to start us off with. Okay, you know what? Yeah, so I'm going to go with pharmaceuticals to start us off with, and then I'm going to go water to water to boiler and railways and try and get that as quickly as possible because we, are, we will run out of infrastructure pretty soon. So we're going to have to build that up. And what I'm going to do is for consumption tax, I'm just going to do liquor, and we're also going to go ahead and do luxury clothes and luxury furniture and we'll also do porcelain mostly tax rich because these are consumable uh goods so we can profit more off these taxes later on and then i'm going to do right ahead and do a promote social mobility and road maintenance just to help us out and i'll kind of just leave it with this uh for the meantime and then we'll kind of work our way around as we get further in the campaign these uh logging camps up to level eight um we do have wooden buildings so when it comes to imports i want to focus on importing the wood here and then we'll also go right ahead and do the cloth as well. Um, so that can really hopefully bring down the construction goods a little bit. It managed to bring it down just a bit, which is nice. And we're sitting at 3 million GDP uh, and a South German voice. Oh, sweet. This is a great event to have. Okay, we get a certain character that appears. Uh, let's see if we get anyone. No, we do not. All right. So we're looking at cultures here. We are, okay, we discriminate the South German people, even though they are the second largest group for us, which is up. Uh, pretty it's not really good so we're gonna get that all fixed up and then i'm gonna go ahead add a level two bohemian wooden construction sector and then i'll slowly move that bad boy up to a iron frame later on and it seems like cultural exclusion is going to pass really easily which is fantastic and one thing i'm also going to do is i'm going to max out the government wages just so the intelligentsia and the petite bourgeoisie get more interest approval we get more authority and we do that the same thing for the armed forces and we also get a plus 20 percent morale recovery which is really nice we also increased our wages in the military making one of people to you know work for the bohemian government okay so we now have a paper mill building that was built by the great good old or thomas investment system or whatever it's called uh we're about to get cold and we got cultural exclusion now making hopefully we can now actually bring in giuseppe mazzini ah we can beautiful okay so having good old giuseppe here is going to be quite important so the reason why i went after cultural exclusion at the start is 
is to bring this dude in. I actually find Giuseppe Mazzini to be one of my favorite exiles in at the start of the game, especially if I want to become a, a Republic. So having him in here is really good. And plus he is really popular as well, making the support so much better as well, which is going to be great to see. We even have now the event Young Joseph. Giuseppe Mazzini has officially arrived in Bohemia to a mixed reception. Some call him a pest, others call him a visionary. And now not only what this does, he gets more popularity and he gets plus 10 interest group political strength approval. And with every law that we're going to pass now is going to strengthen the intelligentsia, making this so much better. So next things next, we are now going to come over here to the freedom of conscience and we're now going to enact total separation. Now, sadly enough, we're probably going to have to go into a civil war, but you know what? It is what it is. Not much you can do about it. Okay, total separation did not work at all. It was even at bloody 80% and then it just kept dropping down. Oh, why does my RNG in this game So Okay, well, that's okay. I wish I could go towards dedicated police force just in case for radicals, right of assembly. You know what? Yeah, let's just go straight towards census suffrage and just, yeah, let's just push for it. I mean, we might as well and just make the world burn underneath our feet. I mean, by gosh, I'm going to bring this down and same with this cost down a little bit because we are spending, I don't want to go into interest. I think it's a little bit much, but yeah, so this is the lineup that I now have building some iron mines and then once we get the water to boiler i'll switch them over and finally switch over to iron frame buildings and what i'm actually going to do now is during this civil war i'm now oh yeah i forgot you can't okay it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of fun bullying people i love it i love it just Okay, 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 let's just pause everything and then let's just try and pass this law as best as we can. Oh, no. And the civil war has started. The Bohemian Aristocratic Revolt and we even managed to complete the uh, atmospheric engine. Thanks, guys. I'll just use that towards a water tube boiler. Sweet. I just instantly unlock it. That's that's really great. And you guys have five troops. I haven't even done it. Oh, we got a master bureaucrat. Okay, that is pretty nice. Okay, you know, I want to grab this armed forces guy. Okay, so the best thing for us, we even have the uh, armed forces uh who is a uh wait where what, what the heck uh oh no now we got an authoritarian okay well there was a republican guy like just like a little bit okay well that that sucks okay well what not okay we'll, we'll just leave it like this 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 should be fine all right well hopefully census suffrage can pass and well this war is going to be a bloody walk in the cake emil von hohenstein okay listen bloody thomas lichtenstein Stein, i i'm not going to bother pronouncing that all right the first bohemian civil war Oh, lovely people fighting over democracy. And right now, now I'm guessing I have to lower the taxes down more and lose more money. Okay, don't worry. I got it. I get the gist. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Now you guys want pres- Oh my god. Okay, one minute you guys don't want- Okay, I'm- Okay. Oh, you know what? Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah, okay. Presidential Republic. That that makes sense. I can- Yeah. All right. Oh, god damn. Oh, man. Oh. Man, can you guys make up your mind? Do you want to be a monarchy or you want to be a republic? Do you guys want freedom to vote or you just want to be- is stuck on an autocracy. I mean, my gosh. Because let me tell you, Mazzini, you've never... The answer for you was like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it at all. Okay, thank you. Yes, we will get appointed bureaucrats. Sure thing. Time for the second civil war. Oh, man, I'm pumped. You know what they say? If it don't work the first time, try it again. Is it the same gosh damn guy? No, no, this this guy, he's different. This is Petro Vratislav Mitrovic. Okay, a democratic republicanism. All liberals will betray the crown in the nation eventually. Jane. Jan Jan Fibich. Oh, okay. A coalition that shall shake the world around them. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. I am now no longer a minor power. I am crying for my mummy. All right. What's, what's going on here? Who's fighting? Okay. We got a fight over here. It's just, it's a masterclass. Look at, okay, guys. This Welcome to the masterclass of how to lose a civil war in, well, any type of scenario. You revolt against a gosh down crown that has no goddamn rape. I don't even know what I'm doing with my life anymore, I'll be honest. Okay. Ah, uh, condensing engine pump, condensing engine pump, and then. We're now going to switch this bad boy over to Iron Frame and get rid of these two. And then that should be good enough. Yeah, still level 15, but it constructs things a little bit more efficiently. Well, that's a pretty good solid 97% that may take forever to just go through. But you know what? Yeah, sure. We'll take it. Uh, insufficient agriculture. All right, the industrialists. Okay, looks like the industrialists and the intelligentsia have the most amount of strength. See, I'm going to exile you and hope to get a Republican. Okay, no, we got a moderate. That's just as fun. But thank you, just... Seppi, you absolute madman. Carrying like you usually do, my guy. Thank you. Uh, looks like France is now a republic. Victor de Abrugail. Okay, this guy is 
an all enist. Okay, well, I don't... Oh, oh, there's a... Oh, surely I can latch on. Oh, that sucks. Russia sides with Austria. Friends sides with... You know what? I'm gonna sit this one out. Okay, I was gonna dive on in. Guess what? I changed my mind. Okay, <laughs> listen. You guys have got your own thing going on. I got my own thing going on. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. It's okay. You guys, you guys are fine. Giuseppe Mazzini has issued a particularly convincing public address in support of a presidential republic, disseminating egalitarian ideals and citations to anti-royalist literature in equal measure. No words over further the divine order. Yes, done with the monarchy. Listen, dude, I am so sorry. I did not mean for any of this to happen. It looks like this little... Okay, your son is now a Democrat. All right. Well, uh, you probably would disown him because you're a traditionalist, but you know what? That's okay. Okay, we are now going to go towards... Uh, see, I can't... What can I go towards? Uh, I guess I will start moving uh, Quinn and technology. I guess ego e egalitarianism, maybe universal suffrage, and then um, a trade agreement with Austria. Yeah, sure. Why not? And then I guess I'll just go mechanize workshops and I kind of just... I don't know what to do. I'm a little bit stuck in between here. I mean, I've got all the resources and the manpower to take look, at least stand a chance against Austria. But like since Russia sided with them, I don't know what type of relations they'll have in the future. So that is going to be a little bit weird, but we're now going to get level three education access and level three law enforcement cultures. The Ashkenazi. So we have a no discrimination at all going on. And oh my God, Prussia. Oh yeah. Oh, Prussia, buddy. I don't know what's happening, but like, damn. Boy, you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, Austria. And Austria is losing. What the heck? Yes, unacceptable behavior from the Duke. How dare you? Okay, no, Austria is losing. Okay, Prussia's just holding on, even though Berlin is kind of almost under occupation. But no, okay. I see what's happening. Tyrol and South Tyrol. I'm guessing uh, Prussia won and Austria. You got manhandled. That's damn. Prussia mentioned just 1v2. Russia and Austria. Man, uh, man, Austria, you are losing a lot. And I probably will have enough to take you down, like, very shortly. Because, like, I mean, these 20 battalions in West Slovakia and good old East Slovakia. Who knows? I might make go after these two areas and just liberate Hungary and just, like, absolutely destroy you from the inside out. I mean, I might as well. What? That's crazy. Austria is now asking me for a defensive pact. How about no? You know what? Let's just, let's just end this relationship right here, okay? Me and you, we're done. Freedom equality and brotherhood. The intelligentsia under the leadership of Antonin Till has ushered in an era of liberal politics that promises a freer society where all citizens have a part in the political process. Till is now a fearless visionary, giving him much, much more stuff, and he's even a market liberal, which is fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and promote the industrialists here. Okay, now we have a right of assembly for Bohemia. Beautiful. Alright, next things next uh, with uh, laws Okay, so per capita would definitely be the better way to go and not proportional taxation. And we even do want to grab homesteading, which is just much better. We could also go free trade. I mean, we are trading, so we can get some bureaucracy back and then move towards private health insurance. The last monarch is Bermier has successfully maintained a Republican form of government for many years now. Damn straight. Well, we might as well get, make, uh, you know, get rid of the landowners and that gosh darn ideology. I don't want him to keep it. You know what I mean? Oh, I can make him resign from office. It's actually can only taken once every 14 years. Yes. Following a series of devastating scandals and dismissal of public approval, Joseph has announced his resignation from the office as president. There we go. And we've now got a reformer. Okay, this this is, uh, this is good. This is really good. A much better guy. What's this about? Open Austrian market. Humiliating Austria. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, uh, you know what? I need... I Listen, Prussia, I need you to like me. So, like, I'm going to have to side with you on this one, man. So, uh, yeah. Trust me, I really want you to like me and whatnot. So then me and you can be friends. Now we got five units. All right. You know, we're buffing up all the Prussian lines here. You know, everything's great. And we got guaranteed liberties. Beautiful. Kinley burn this leg. Uh, liberal party no okay well i think now that we got the market liberal guy we're just gonna go straight towards per capita and really i've been literally just holding on to that it's, it's trust me i've been like annoying myself with it but yeah i don't think austria is gonna have a fun time they're going down by four and we're ticking down by three so they're gonna be ticking down by one every time so oh there's now the, re the report of oh my god man austria just cannot take a break <laughs> 
Okie dokie, that is now per capita taxation done. Okay, so I just realized Giuseppe had left probably because, well, there was really no laws for him to <laughs> pass on here. Man did, man did his job. Okay, so we could get this guy who wants us to get elected bureaucrats, which isn't that bad. Uh, the guy who I'm thinking about is going to be good old Alejandro Heredia, which is a Platinian dude over here. He's going to help us uh, try and enact free trade, which will help us out quite a lot. Okay, so now we got human rights and psychiatry. Yeah, that's right. I just really rushed down to tier three research and I kind of just did what I had to do. Okay, now for society, uh, we could grab civilizing mission, uh, but I'm actually going to go towards anarchism or feminism, but I think we'll go labor movement and then we'll go anarchism. That should help us out. So that's going to take us 11 years to do. So by 1872, that should be all done with anarchism. We can get an anarchist guy uh, in our well, government at least. And then that will give us hopefully the ability to pass multiculturalism, which will be fantastic uh, i'm gonna hopefully join the customs union oh dude negative five man we are so close um we now have another guy here who is um trying to help us with free trade which is great we are trying our best we are now trying to get homesteading because well yeah i mean we might as well i just want to take power away from the landowners okay trust me i just like taking i just like bullying the landowners in this game it's it's extreme it's incredibly fun now we're doing good on free trade we do have some some people who are prioritizing it. We're now getting compulsory primary school, which is great. And we are now the sixth smartest nation in the world, which is great. However, so uh, now we've got this interest. Let's go for ahead and go for a conquer state. And we're going to go right ahead with a war goal here. Compulsory primary school. Beautiful. We're going to go for a East Slovakia. Okay. And it looks like we got an offer from Russia with an obligation. And there we go. Uh, East and West Slovakia. Yes. Okay. We're now making 20,000. Uh, that is quite a lot. Colleges now. We got Romanian, Ukrainian. Oh, wow. Okay. That became really good. We're going to come over here to nation formation. And we are now going to form a Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia unification. Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia has emerged as a rising power in South Germany. A glorious union. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Can I join? Okay. Looks like uh, that is weird. All right. So now we have a Romania in a Italy. Um, I wonder if we're ever they're gonna see a German unification at some point. Oh, body oh, body oh, pal! Looks like there is a German unification, and I am I'm now part of this play. Oh no, that that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, uh, bang. Okay, we're gonna have to raise as many conscripts as we possibly can. Yeah, and unify very. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> What the boy just happened? Did AI Germany just take Austria? I just, I just, okay, well, uh, well, he didn't fully annex Austria. This is really cursed. Uh, I mean, I bought some parts of Austria that I could easily take down, I, I think. I mean, oh, wow. Oh, thank you everyone for watching today's video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to see some more crazy Victoria through releasables content, just like this video. But anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. Uh, peace out. <laughs> Look at subscribe and be so and Find as well. If you like and subscribe, you got until the end of the video. Fine. I'll come over there and tickle your feet. Ah!